Hello, I am Dave. And I'm Sophie, and welcome to the Ducambulance Project. As we both enjoy various sports, Dave has been after a van for a while to haul all our stuff around. And with Covid meaning that we are unable to do a lot of our usual trips, mainly due to a lack of accommodation, and way, way too much time watching YouTube van channels, Dave went mad on eBay and has gone and brought himself an ambulance. Follow along for our journey into automotive madness. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. So, um, coming to you from the passenger side this week, um, mainly because the, uh, the driver's side's got loads of dangling wires where we've been playing with the camera today um i've also discovered i can hook the phone onto one of the old um the ambulance wherever it is they've bonded on um so makes a nice phone mount um been a little while since i done one of these um i may have released depending on what all of these go out a, a video saying how wonderful the door was and i fixed it hurrah i hadn't fixed it um i, I retook it apart recleaned it all clicked it all in um works great for about three days um and then i heard the dreaded ping noise as uh, as the cable jumped back out the housing so um done a bit of repairs on that um i've managed to um try to just notice the airbag mount on the front of the dash is a funny angle that's one oddly worrying okay i'll play that later um yeah i have to take that apart completely again um took the door handle off completely again this time done it all properly um what i ended up doing was um cutting some slots with a dremel and then putting a little bracket across um just to retain that clip uh, i don't know if the rubber doesn't look really that worn out um the plastic housing doesn't look that worn out um i can only just assume it's it's a 10 year old vehicle that's been used as an ambulance so i imagine people are getting in and out of it constantly and, and and the parts are just worn so um we'll see if the cable tie keeps it going um if it does nice cheap fix if not oh, it'll be a new new set of cables and a new door handle so um fingers crossed um, the thingy works. So, last update video I mentioned the main beams weren't working. Um, I thought it extremely unlikely that both fuses would have gone. Anyway, luckily for me, it was that both fuses had gone. So, um, so that was not too bad. Um, getting to the fuse box, um, the fuse box access panel was, I think, not designed on a Friday afternoon the same as the light access, but but not far different. Um, much better than actually the the. Um, the locking mechanism for the sliding door, but we'll get to that later. Um, yeah, so two fuses, maybe in works like now, so that's good. Um, when we can, we need to take it for a little, a little bit of a, a go and make sure that's all set up properly for the MOT. Um, talking of MOTs, again, I mentioned that last time. Um, phoned up to get the MOT, um, and because she's no longer an ambulance, um, and she's no longer carrying passengers, uh, which is what they they class people in the back of an ambulance. Um, she doesn't come under the class four MOT system. So um, being over three and a half tons, uh, she counts the heavy goods vehicle. So um, yeah, she's a lorry, which which is which is great because I'm going to have to go do an extra driving test. Um, so yeah, that's going to be fun. So we can't take her for an MOT. Um, we've got to take her for um, a plating certificate. So um, we're working through the paperwork for that in a minute. Um, involves lots of measuring of distances of wheels and bits and pieces. Um, one of the things they're trying to find out is if the vehicle has ever had the braking system changed. Um, I'm assuming it must have done while it was an ambulance, but I have no paperwork or any other documentary evidence to support this. So um, chatting with the DVLA about that at the moment. Once I get an argument on argument and agreement on that, I can then get the test booked in, and we can hopefully get her back out on the road. Um, which would be nice to get her moving. Um, been sat for a few weeks now, so I want to make sure we can move her around a little bit. Make sure she's um, everything's in good condition and keeps working. Nothing worse for a vehicle than just leaving it stood for ages. Um, I mentioned the camera as well. Um, ta -da. Um, one of the things we found out, the reason the camera wasn't working, is the connector between the camera and the lead where the power comes from is a bit dodgy. Um, and if you wiggle it in and out by like a fraction of a millimetre, it actually turns on. So um, a friend of mine found that out when he came over to help me look at the electrics for the MOT. Um, so we hooked it up to a 12 volt separate source. Um, we had all the wires out, everything out completely, um, apart from the camera mount, it's still on the back. Plugged it in, um, that looks fine, so that's good. Um, reassembled it knowing it's got that loose cable. Uh, the loose cable, um, 
off a battery works fine brilliant thought right awesome we shall wire it up to some power from the vehicle there's plenty of just loose bloody wires in the vehicle so uh, we'll pick one of those so um nothing turns on until the until the engine's running even off the ignition um i think again because it was all off the genesis unit um so i've just noticed another hole in the one of the stalks so that's for some of the ambulance stuff um got a power got 12, 13 12.9 12 13 volts um when the engine is just running plug the camera in turns itself off so um we suspect that's a wire coming from the genesis unit it's designed to take a certain amount of pull and when there's more than that it's turning itself off so um we're going to try and pull all those wires out eventually anyway um, i need to watch some more crifton's campers um thank you very much if, any, if the man from crifton's campers ever sees this because um because those videos have been invaluable um and if anyone else is doing an ambulance i, I would def go around, definitely recommend going to watch his um his project wes and, and have a look out for project amber as well um so yeah there's a, a fuse box under the driver's side pillar um, which has got a lot of um, fuses and stuff. Uh, if you have electric seats on the chairs, now I don't. So um, I figured we could we could reuse that fuse um, and take it up to the camera, and then we'll have a working camera system um, until at some point I get around to um, replacing it with a, a bit more of a bespoke system. So that's pretty much where we are. Um, I haven't taken much extra bits out the back of the van. Um, effectively, the DVLA said um, the guidance is if you're plating it as a heavier weight vehicle. What you want to do is leave the mass in it um because that helps with the braking test and then once that's done we can start taking some of the heavy bits like the ramp out um and then put some more mass back in it for for next time we go so hopefully at that point we'll have a water tank and bits and pieces in so um yeah we'll see steady progress um as you can see i'm covered in oil um the sliding door rear handle isn't opening properly um opens fine from inside so from a security point of view it's good um but it won't open from outside so i was really taking the whole thing apart cleaning everything it's absolutely full of muck um good nine hours of doing that and um put it back on yesterday night <laughs> it's exactly the same as it was so um yeah at least at least i can now buy a new one in good conscience knowing that, that that won't work um the um the thing that closes the doors another one of the wires has snapped as well so again i suspect a lot of that's just getting a bit close to being perished so um probably all for those door contacts and we'll have to have a look out for, for new ones of those so that's a quick update where we've been going um i imagine it's really until we get the mot done there's not going to be a huge amount of updates um other than maybe bits and pieces on the paperwork um a bit of cleaning need to do a bit of that because it's a bit manky um and then yeah i hope everyone's well Ciao.